Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well and that the new year has started off very, very well for you. So today's reading is going to be just a general update. We're just gonna look into what's going on in Divine Soulmate Connections. It could be a twin flame connection. Um, we're gonna be looking both into the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy. And do keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it can't be everybody's situation, all right? Everybody's situation is different. But if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And also, if you would like to donate as an energy exchange to the channel, you can still use the same PayPal account, okay? That's in the description box. So with all of that said, let's get into it. We're going to get some more cards. <clears throat> Starting off with the masculine's energy, and then we will move on to the feminine's energy. So let's see what's going on with the masculines. All right, we have man holding a coin as our very first card out. So what I'm getting here is that I actually feel like the masculine is trying to think along very, very practical terms. And for some of them, this could even be that they are just very, very focused at the moment on their material world, what is going on in their environment. There could be a lot that is happening in their external world just overall. Let's get a couple more. All right, and we have number 18. Um, I don't remember the keyword on this card, but this card is all about moving away from something that just doesn't feel right. So it could be that there is something in their material world, um, whether that is a job, a way of living, a way of being, um, status even, another commitment, whatever, whatever it is, this is something that they are trying to move away from, something that just isn't feeling right for them. So starting off pretty well, but let's see what else. And this could even just be some fears. <clears throat> fears about anything, anything in regards to the connection with their feminine or fears concerning other situations in their lives. All right, okay. <laughs> and as I said that, we do get karmic partner, even though this particular reading is not specific for that, but it is showing up here, okay? So, and I do actually feel that in a lot of cases, there is some kind of a karmic partner, even if it's not a romantic partner, okay? It could even be, um, it doesn't even have to be like one specific person. It can even be like a group of people or even like um, a community within the, within society. All right, so there's something here. See, we have free will and compromise as well. So this is all about moving away from what it is that they have known, what it is that has been established, something that has been very, very um, stable or ingrained, and it does involve karma. All right, and that's why it's there, because the masculine is meant to break free from that. That's why we have free will, to use their own free will and break away from either society's expectations that might be related to this, or just anything else that is not authentic to them. Now, what this is doing, though, it is helping them to learn that sometimes in order to move away from something that is not um, aligned with you, a compromise is needed, all right? So, it, and it could be something in their material world that they're having to give up in order to use their free will and move towards that alignment, all right? And whatever that is, it does involve karma, but it is something that they have been feeling for, for a while now that it just doesn't sit right with them. So that's what we're getting for the masculines for this week as the overall energies here. Let's see for the feminines. And then we'll get into the tarot. So for the feminines, please, what is going on? Okay, and we did get two here. We have adjacent possibilities and we have the temple path. Okay, so I feel like this is kind of similar to something I was saying in the last reading. I think it was <clears throat> either the last reading or the reading before that where some feminines are being presented with a lot of options, possibilities. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It can be in work, um, just other life decisions. It could be anything, but it's like you're being presented with many, many options. 
know that whatever whatever this is and it doesn't really matter um because i'm kind of getting that it doesn't really matter what you choose it's all really what's significant is the energy with which you do choose which way you're going to go or which option you do allow into your life all right because we also have the temple path here so know that this is part of your path you are meant to be faced with all of these options all of these opportunities because it might not be so <clears throat> so important which one you choose but there's something about the experience of having these possibilities which is actually helping you in some other way and it's helping you to align more with your with your own self so that's pretty interesting <clears throat> no idea what that could be about um for each of you but let's see what else for the penance. Okay, very interesting because we have um, <clears throat> the number 25 and this is actually disquiet and it's actually very similar, I feel, to the card that we got from this deck for the masculines. And this is again all about feeling like something, something is not right. But what's happening is, is that you are making that discernment. I, I really feel like, you know, these options that are presenting themselves to you, there's something about about this process that helps you to make some kind of a discernment as to what it is that is in alignment with you and what it is that isn't and it's very very similar to what the masculines are actually processing as well but just in a different way let's see just a couple more for the feminines All right, we have divine timing, cycles, and we also have mute. Okay, so <clears throat> this might be a completely unrelated energy for some of you. For, for others of you, this might actually relate to everything else I was saying. But you really have been learning patience. I feel like you have come to this point where you have been through a lot of cycles. Possibly for a lot of you, there has been a lot of on and off especially with your with your masculine where there's cycles of separation and then um, being more in contact or even being together and then separation again. I feel like there have been a lot of cycles here. And each time you go through one of these cycles, you are learning more and more about patience as well as divine timing. And what I'm also getting with this divine timing card is that a lot of things are aligning right now, right? Especially in combination with that temple path. It's like divine timing is not a set date. I've said this before. I think I've said it many times, but I will say it again. It's not divine timing and being patient doesn't mean, oh, I'm waiting for a particular day that I just don't know when that day is where, you know, certain things are going to happen for me. No, it's all about when certain things will come into alignment. There is no specific date that time that when actually depends on different choices that we make. And sometimes, you know, it does, it does take a little while, you know, um, because we have to learn these lessons. But what I'm seeing here is that both the masculines and the feminines are, are aligning, basically. The masculine is learning about using their free will, breaking away from karmic patterns, moving away from what is not serving them. And then the feminines also are learning to discern what doesn't feel right so that they are making better choices, which is helping this divine timing to actually come in. So, yeah, let's get into the tarot. So I want to start by getting one card, <clears throat> maybe two, we'll see, to represent the recent past for the masculines or um, an energy that they might be coming out of. So let's see. All right, we have the two of pentacles. So this is all about learning how to manage and juggle a lot of different things in their lives. So I feel like up until very recently, the masculines actually had a lot on their plate or a lot of them were really trying to make a decision between different different things in their life. 
So I feel like this is actually something that they are now coming out of, meaning that they are able to manage all the different <clears throat> Um, obstacles that are being thrown at them or certain things where for example they may have felt like <clears throat> in the past that they cannot manage to have a long-term commitment with their divine feminine and at the same time also have a particular job or live in a different state or country or whatever the situation is D other <clears throat> other obstacles right could be cultural issues. They were having a hard time actually integrating something in their with their external life <clears throat> together with the connection with their feminines. So this is something that they were dealing with. This is something that they're learning how to manage. And for a lot of them, of course, you know, it can be um, obligations, responsibilities, especially if they were in another commitment where there might be children involved. So it's it's a lot of things. Or it could just be something financial, right? Like having shared assets with another person that could actually serve as an obstacle. Let's see for the feminines. Right, and we have the two of swords. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna need to clarify this one because this could be a number of things, but mostly what I'm getting here for the feminines is that you, you may have been in this energy where I almost want to say denial, but it's not exactly denial. It's more of, you know what, like, <clears throat> I just want to put my blindfold on and not even look at this connection anymore because it just doesn't seem like it's, like it's moving or that it's going anywhere. Just feeling like this might never happen. Perfect. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, because you feel like this masculine, <laughs> it's interesting that we got the King of Pentacles, right, like the man holding a coin, it's like a very similar energy. You feeling like this, your masculine either has a lot of responsibilities elsewhere and you feel like they can never give you this 100% commitment because of whatever else is going on in their lives or for whatever other reason. All right, so let's see what's going on currently. For the masculines. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I feel like we're tapping into a pretty specific group here, and this is just, this can be just one aspect, okay, of this group, the message that we're getting here, and this is talking about um, a masculine who may have been overly focused on work, um, possibly a workaholic, or maybe even using work as a distraction, okay, because I feel like it's showing up already three times with the man holding a coin, the two of pentacles, and now with this eight of pentacles in reverse, so... That this is changing. This is changing because right next to that we have the Ace of Cups upright. So the masculine is actually realizing currently that their lives, right, they have been, it has been so difficult to handle certain things, but that's because they did not have love. And so there was this imbalance. And because they did not have this fulfilling love in their life, they were pouring all of that energy either into work, but it could be even be other things, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be work, but it was something that was just not healthy, something that was serving as a distraction because it was something that they could just give a lot of energy to. This is all shifting because they're realizing that, well, love needs to be in, the, in my life. Love needs to be in the picture. Let's see for, <clears throat> for the feminines. All right, wow, we got four, and the first three are actually major arcana. It's the devil, the lovers, the hermit, and the knight of cups. All right, Femmes, what is going on here? Oh, 
Okay. I actually feel like <clears throat> there's two different messages here. For some of you, there some of these options that you're being presented with, they are concerning other love connections. And, and it's like you're pre being presented with a lot of options because you are meant to make these discernments, as I was saying before. Some of them are not very healthy. Some of them are just either temptations, which might be a be serving as a distraction for you. There's nothing wrong with um, entertaining an, uh, another connection, okay? Especially when your masculine is not ready and, you know, I mean, like we say, detach and live your life, right? As if as if you're not coming into union and then, you know, if you do, right, then, okay, great. If your masculine is ready and comes forward, well, then you can make that decision and see what it is that you want to do. However, there is this aspect here of just, you know, being a little bit cautious. Be a little bit cautious, be a little bit wary of who and what you might get get involved with. Um, so that's just going to be for some of you. For others of you, I feel like there's, there are different things that are happening in your life or just around you, which might actually be trying to, I feel like they're darker energies, right, with this devil, where it's like they're trying to get, either get you off this path or trying to convince you that this has all been a lie or just something something coming in that is i'll clarify <clears throat> i mean i do what i do get though with the hermit being right after that is that you are you are searching though you are learning whatever it is that you are meant to learn from this it just almost feels like let me try to give, give an example because I'm having a really hard time <laughs> explaining it. Um, for example, you might you might watch something where it's saying that this, you know, what you've been feeling and what you've been thinking is all bullshit, all right? That's just one example. Um, another example is talking about this journey or your feelings for your masculine and then them just completely discrediting you, making you feel like you're crazy. All of that is happening for a reason so be aware of that and it is meant to throw you into this like deep deep part of yourself so that you can make that discernment for your own self about what it is that you truly feel so yeah you know what actually I'm gonna leave it at that because I feel like yeah, no need to clarify. That's that's what this is about. Okay, so let's just see a little more specifically the masculine's energy towards their feminine currently. So we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. There's a lot of unhappiness. They're feeling this lack of, <clears throat> of um, love in their life, okay? And that's what I was getting before up here with that Ace of Cups. So with the Ten of Cups here being in reverse, this is what this is saying. If feeling the absence of that love, of that, of that fulfillment, and actually knowing the truth, right? So the Ten of Cups in reverse is actually right under the Wheel of Fortune. This is exactly what I was saying before, wanting to change, wanting to change the fact that love is not there and that they were pouring all of their energy into the material world, into something else. Um, also, you know, using distractions, as I said. So this is what they want to change, that Ten of Cups, which is in reverse, not feeling fulfilled. The Ace of Swords is right under the Ace of Cups. So they're seeing the truth of this Ace of Cups, knowing what it is that is true love. What is this unconditional love? And not only that, this is also all about self-love. 
at the same time. This is actually like a difficult, a difficult truth to face. But they're not, they're not giving up. I feel like with this Ace of Swords, this is also taking some kind of action in that direction. Let's clarify. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. Definitely changing something here in their material world. Like, it's not even funny. They know that something in their material world needs to shift in order to have that Ace of Cups and that Ten of Cups. And But that's the whole thing here is that they're realizing that love is missing. Love is missing and love is something that they want in their life. And here with the Emperor, right, they're wanting to take action towards that. Wanting to actually bring that into their life. Let me see the Nine of Wands. The Ten of Cups again. Um, and showing up in reverse again for a second time. So yeah, you know, this is something that they don't want to give up on. This shift that they want to make because they're feeling very, very unhappy at the moment. There's like this huge realization of how unhappy they are without their feminine. All right, let's see for the feminines. I feel like also what this is saying here is that the masculine is realizing that this has been a very long journey, kind of like um, feeling like they've been deprived of happiness or they've deprived their own self from happiness for a very long time. And it's like, all right, you know, that like it, this is enough. It's been long enough. Okay, so for the feminines, all right, they're all in reverse. The world in reverse, the four of cups in reverse, and the four of wands in reverse. Okay, so for most of you in this group at least, um, it's interesting because you feel like this is not this is not done. It's like you know deep down that this is not over. But at the same time, you can't help but feel like oh, it's, that it is over. <laughs> at the same time, kind of like... There's this disappointment that, you know, maybe it's too late now or time has passed and feeling like it's not over, but that just because it's not over doesn't mean that it's going to come together either. However, that makes sense for you because that's exactly what I'm getting here. Let me see. King of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Again, these options are showing up here. Interesting because I'm getting, you know, you really don't want any other um, love option here. But it's like you're feeling this disappointment and you're feeling like, what if this never happens? So I do feel like there's a bit of an emotional, especially with that King of Cups in reverse, there's a little bit of an emotional um, unsettling going on within you concerning this almost like somehow whatever these other options are even if they're not romantic even if it's just something completely um irrelevant but in your life it's it's like somehow even when it comes to that you are affected you are affected by by the connection with your masculine and by the um the thought of whether you will be together or, or whether you will not be together. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're tapping into a very specific group here. So again, it might not resonate with you and that's completely okay. 
yeah so just take that as it resonates if it does um, all right let's see what this is leading up to what is this moving towards for the masculines coming up in the next week or so We have the magician. Let's see if there's anything else. No. Okay, so what I'm getting with this magician, obviously, right, this is talking about everything else that we've been talking about and actually finding that skill set from within in order to make everything that we were talking about happen, which is focusing more on love rather than using other things as a distraction. Very simple. Realizing that they have been without love for a very long time and wanting to change that. So they're moving towards actually making that happen. Bringing this into, into their reality. Let's see for the feminines. All right, and we have the Six of Swords. Okay, this is good because this is you moving away from things that may have been, oh, what, what's coming in is deceitful. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's about your masculine or other things in your life. Sometimes things, these things can overlap. But moving away from something that has been um, deceitful, painful, and moving towards that light. So I feel like you are actually able to sort things and move more towards a more um, peaceful state of being, moving away from that emotional um, restlessness that I was picking up on before, that I feel like you might be going through right now. And so you're moving towards a calmer state of being and ultimately also releasing. Releasing. And again, I feel like you are able to make that discernment as to what just doesn't sit right with you so that you can make the best decisions for your highest good. So just trust yourself is what I'm getting here. Trust yourself. Know that there are some energy surrounding you that might not be um, <clears throat> for your best, but they're there for a reason. They're there so that you can actually become like this hermit and go deep within and figure that out. And I, I actually see you doing that pretty well. All right. So let's close this off with an oracle card. Let's see. All right, and we have co-create, and I love it when we get this card, and I feel like we actually get it quite often because this is this is encouragement from spirit that you are co-creating with the divine, with spirit, and with your counterpart's higher self, all right? It's like you, your counterpart, and the divine are co-creating. So everything that is happening right now is happening for a reason. I feel like there, there are probably a lot of synchronicities that you might be picking up on. If not, you know, keep just keep your eyes open. They're there. They're definitely there. Things are being synchronized in a way to help you move on on your path on that temple path and to make the right decisions and this is true for both you as well as your your masculine all right let's get one final <clears throat> all right and we have the new moon in aries it's time to take action so yeah i feel like that goes um for the both of you, I mean, if, if you feel like this, it, it's not time for you to take some kind of action in your life, okay, well then it's your masculine. It's your masculine becoming that magician and taking action with that ace of swords, moving towards love in order to change this situation where they're lacking love in their lives. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please let me know if it resonates and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.